I've got Cricut Design Space open on my laptop. I'm going to be using these for my hand soap and dish soap. Got them written here and I've applied different fonts to them to see which one I like. Just a little tip, you see how on this one there's space in between the letters? All you have to do is select it and then click on letter space and just hit the arrow down and that pushes the letters together. You see that? No, that's too close to the phone. So clearly <laughs> I'm not using this one because there's some overlap. I'm not sure how to get rid of that yet, but once I do figure that out, I will share it. I like it. It's called Mona Lisa if you're interested. I've decided to go with Cynthia. This one is called Cynthia and all I do whenever I'm looking for a new font is I go to Pinterest and search up cursive fonts, handwriting fonts, or block letters, whatever um, font that you're looking for. And I've got tons on my Pinterest page, so you can check that out. It's under the Cricut board. And it usually brings me to the thefont.com where I can download the fonts completely free, as long as I'm not selling them, which I'm not. So back to Cricut Design Space. I've picked my font, I've written down the words, and then I'm just gonna click make it. Vinyl is on the mat, and I'm gonna get cutting. I love that, watch how it just opens up. set the material to vinyl and it has been set to vinyl right there and then you press go which is that C button right here see flashing super easy it's in it's gonna start cutting so excited all finished I just press the flashing light to unload the mat and there it is. I just need to weed it out. Oh no, it printed <laughs> printed the other ones too. Okay, never mind. It's hiding it didn't work. Oh well, that's okay. That's how you learn. <laughs> so I cut out the actual labels. I'm gonna do smaller pieces from the large piece because it's just easier to um, weed out when they're smaller and I'm gonna take the Cricut weeder and just remove the outside part and the inside part like that, but leave the actual letters on there. Then I'm gonna use transfer tape on top and then use that to transfer onto the bottom. So I weeded both labels and they are looking good except for this little spot right here but I think it'll be fine what I'm gonna do is just move the D a little bit closer to the tail here of the N and it should hide that little spot and I also wanted to move the S a little bit closer as well so um, it'll be fine it'll just be a little bit more challenging to transfer it because I can't use a transfer paper paper for that um, because of the spacing. If the spacing was perfect, I can uh, use a transfer paper, attach it to transfer paper, and then attach it to the bottle, container, whatever, and it would be super simple and easy. But because of this space and this space here, I'm gonna try and do it by hand. Use my eyeballs, <laughs> eyeball skills. Um, but yeah, hopefully it works. So I just cut out a little tiny piece, just enough to cover the label and then I'm gonna attach it to that and it should pick up all the letters right up. So I've got the transfer paper on there and I can take it completely off. So if this happens, if it doesn't pick up, all you have to do is put it back down and then rub it a little bit more. And I got these from Ikea's label with the transfer tape already on. I'm just going to peel it off now and just be gentle with it. Do the transfer tape paper like that. 
and I'm just gonna attach it onto the bottle. Make sure it's nice and clean. And just make sure you center it. Oops. Okay. So I'm just gonna smooth it out. And then remove the transfer paper, which is the most exciting part. in a different direction. Okay, so with the hands, second label, remember how it was missing a little piece there? Well, I found it. <laughs> uh, when I was weeding, it came off with it. So I'm just gonna try and line it up with this. And hopefully it will work out well. So I want to show you what I would do if I wanted to move a letter and just peel it. Right, on, see? And then bring it closer before you use the transfer paper. So now I'm ready for the transfer paper. I just applied it and I'm using the same one. You can actually use the same transfer paper several times. Mm -hmm. 